Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you've seen from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime skincare routine for when my skin is being problematic. So I have normal skin that can get a bit dry or a bit oily depending on the environment that I'm in, what I've been eating, if I'm drinking enough water or not, am I getting enough rest, all of those factors, my skin can switch up. So when my skin is acting up like it is right now, I have clogged pores and I have a bit of an allergic reaction. Um, I've been living with allergies my entire life. Uh, so when this is happening to my skin, I try to keep my skincare routine as simple as possible using effective and active ingredients. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm obviously going to start off by clipping my hair back so that it's easier for when I do wash my face. And I got these hair clips from Clicks in South Africa, but you can get them at a Boots, anywhere pretty much. Now that my hair is pinned back, I am going to go in with cleanser as my first step. Usually if I'm wearing makeup, I would tend to double cleanse, but I think I will do an entire skincare video for when I do have makeup on. But for today, I'm just gonna go in with my cleanser. I don't know if this is focusing. So this one is by Bosha. I love this brand because they use a lot of natural ingredients and this is a purifying cleansing gel um, cleanser that is effective enough, but also gentle enough to use every single day. So I go in with one large pump of that get some water running lather it up um, so I know that some people try to stay away from foaming cleansers I personally don't mind them because they don't irritate my skin I like to go in, in a circular motion massage my face but always gently and I Think that everyone should wash should spend at least three to five minutes washing their face so that the cleanser actually does its job I think too many people just slap their cleanser on and then quickly rinse it off so I spend about three to five minutes just loving my skin <laughs> okay and now I'm going to rinse this off with lukewarm water I try not to use hot water or warm water on my face just because I don't think it will preserve your skin and I'm turning 30 this year so okay so now I've rinsed my face I actually messed up my sweater a little bit but yeah it gets me right along now that I have cleansed my face I'm going to go in with my next step which is toner now because my skin is acting up I will be using this AHA and BHA um, toner by Dior from their Capture Youth range. This is great because it has HAs and BHAs which help with clogged pores, acne prone skin, but this is a nice mild gentle one. So again, this is one that I try to use like every other day. So I skip a day in between. I don't use it every single day or I'll use it when my skin is really acting up. I know that some people actually use um, their hands to apply tone instead of a cotton pad. Let me know down below if you're one of those people. Let me know why. Now that we're done with toner, I am going to go in with the key product for the skincare routine. I don't know if you can see that. I still need to figure this out. <laughs> we'll get better, guys. <clears throat> so this is the 
Paula's Choice Clinical 1% Retinal Treatment for All Skin Types. It has peptides and vitamin C. So, retinol. Love it. Retinol is great for me personally when my skin is clogged and it's just not looking so great and it's a bit dull and I need something that's just going to punch in some nutrients and help my skin regenerate and rejuvenate. So I go in with actually this is one and a half pumps of that and I just pack it into my skin ever so gently and I bring it underneath my chin. I avoid the skin around my eyes because this specific retinol says you should. I do know that there are some eye creams that have retinol in them. So I could stop here, but because I also don't want this to dry up my skin too much and just kind of mess with the pH level of my skin, I am going to go in with a little bit of this Shiseido Waso Hydrating Gel Cream, which I love. Um, like I said, I have normal skin. I don't know if this would necessarily be beneficial for somebody with oily skin, um, but I like this and I use it, especially when I'm using my retinol, just because I feel like it helps lock in the moisture without being too heavy and kind of just stopping the retinol from doing its job. So I pat that in as well. I bring that down to my neck. I wet my chest as well if I was wearing a low cut top. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my eye cream. This is one of my favorite eye creams. It's by Dior and it's also from their Capture Youth range. It is the Age Delay Advanced Eye Treatment. I go in with one small pump of that on my ring finger. Oops. And I gently warm it up. And again, always be gentle with the skin around your eyes. So I Tap that in very gently and I also go on my top lid because the skin around your eyes needs loving even the top lid <laughs> and I find it weird that there's people who don't put eye cream on their top lid okay so then I just continue patting that in So for my final step, I'm going to go in with my steroid cream, which I get from my dermatologist. So it's kind of pointless showing you this because you can't get it without prescription. And um, honestly, I you need to see a dermatologist before you use any kind of steroid cream or any kind of steroid tablet. I go in with a little bit on my ring finger and I pat it into where my skin is just irritated. <laughs> I get these allergy breakouts, honestly, every so often. If I don't eat well, one will pop up on my face, or two, or three, or if I'm stressed out, or if I'm in a very dusty area. It's just, I've been living with this. I've been living with eczema since I was about six, and this kind of allergy, this came around when I was 22, which was, very frustrating because I didn't know what was going on with my skin and yeah, it was a lot. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I am now going to go in with some lip balm because nobody likes chapped ashy lips. This is also by Dior. <laughs> I know I used a lot of Dior products, but I promise and I'm gonna be doing a lot more skincare videos where you're gonna see other brands and hopefully I'll be working with some of my favorites like Dior, so definitely stay tuned on the channel. And if you haven't done so, subscribe and hit that notification button. But yeah, the lip balm is by Dior. I don't know if you can see that. It's their lip glow in the color 001. I like this lip balm because it 
has a bit of a pigment to it so your lips always have that just bitten look which I love but it's also very hydrating okay and that's it so I'm just going to take out these clips so I don't continue looking ridiculous <laughs> so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one goodbye